この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしますオーライディー、ウェルカムエブリワン、アイムティアブーアンアイムヒアフォーユーユーハクショーエピソード69ナイスアンセブンディーラストウィークウィーリトゥンティーノーマルウォールアンメティーティーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオーオー Between Suichi and his one sided rival Kaito. A game that so far only has the one rule, which is you cannot say the word hot. I'm wondering what kind of game this is going to be, and I'm really curious about what this whole situation is. I love the aesthetic of this place, I love the aesthetic of these characters and their voices. I'm really super intrigued to figure out more about them, how they work, and how this whole game is going to play. It seems really enjoyable. Okay, let's watch episode, see how it goes. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's do that. All right, I've got episode 69, again, nice,、uh, of Yu Yu Hakusho up and ready to go. It is sitting at zero seconds. There will be two versions of this reaction video. You can find a picture in picture version with the video up there, linked in the description down there, and a timer based version up on YouTube. If you would like to do a syncy thing, sync up your own copy of the episode with the timer based version, you are welcome to do so. Just go ahead and get your copy ready because the beep beep timer to count you down will be coming at you right now. Boom. Awesome. <clears throat> Where's my tea? God, that OP is really good. Whoa! <clears throat> <laughs> you done goofed. Yeah, no violence here, no violence here. No title here, no title here. One rule. Believe it. Again, territories. Oops. Ooh. Again, that's really gorgeous. Mm. 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 
Hello, Frozen Hie. Oops. Probably shouldn't have tested the one explicit rule. That is a real spooky look. Spooky look. That is a great... Fr great composition. Uh-oh. His like like little half mouth thing that he he's got going on is real interesting. It is very not cold in here. Just chilling reading a book. Cool. Except for you. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, cool. S deep respect. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Te technically, you are in a book. You just okay. That's not that hot. Oh, that's that's weird. <laughs> I think that would count as violence. This is what what just happened? What did you just fuck up? There wasn't another rule. Wait, what did he do wrong? But why? Well, shit, Photon. Oh, uh, wait, how did you get cool bar, though? I'm genuinely confused. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's not a contraction of two other words, right? <laughs> we got a full replay of the show. Gorgeous. Fuck! 
so it's when ritter written and transliterated? That's bullshit. Fucking bullshit, Kaido. Bullshit. Fine. You fucker. Oh, come on. Oh. I mean. Oh. That seems wrong. No? Maybe don't do that instead of doing that. He doesn't like having power over people. Okay. I'm warning you. Where'd you get that key? Do you? Do you, though? Did some plants do some things? I see some plants. Aw, oh, you, you were growing tropical plants in your place. Well, fuck. That's pretty dope. <clears throat> this is super tense. I love it. That word gag is still going. Shimmer. Hell yeah. Then you get my soul. Oh, God, he's so good to be like, oh, yeah. Oh, come on, angles. Ah. He didn't explicitly say that he would change the words, necessarily, just that he would change the taboo. Ooh. Okay, but we're doing it with Hiragana, so that's weird, but okay. Ooh. Ooh. At the very least, it will be deeply intriguing. So we sit and stare at each other angrily for a while until then. So awesome. Bow. Mid roll. Hell yeah. Dude, Suichi! Such a, such a dope dork. He's the dopest dork. I love him. All right, let's go.
Why 104? Okay, whatever. I suppose it's 45 minutes divided by 26, probably. Although it might not be 26, because that's not the number of... Okay. <clears throat> you just have to not speak. Didn't you just... Oh, okay. Before it. This is very difficult to translate, to do from the here. I'm trying to keep it, keep both in my head, but it doesn't make any sense. And they had to rewrite the entire thing to make it make sense with American, like, Arab letters. Ah! Oh, and modifieds. Okay. True. <gasps> Might as well be. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Nita John. <clears throat> Shortenly. Those that shit applies to you. Yeah, you're just here to plan. Also, what a cut. <clears throat> mm hmm. Or is he waiting for you to say, like, I win? Oh shit, what? What did you say? Do you have his soul? Otto. Hmm. He would forfeit them. Oh, this is so interesting. I am... I am digging it. Bow. Oh. Schnapps. Welcome to your spooky jungle. He's real good at his powers. I don't understand what he's doing, though. <clears throat> and was... Was Karama's entire plan, re like, reliant on, on Kaido going and taking a piss? He's gone. But you can't really call out to him. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. You're getting spooked, bud. Uh, 
Other things are continuing to get restricted. But what's the game plan? Hmm. What is that pink thing? I don't think he's trying to scare you into it. I think he respects your ability to restrain yourself better than that. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. And that one's mmm. Are we waiting for you to say I win? Oh my god, we're mission impossibling it. Is it a doll? What? Is he gonna make you laugh? <laughs> the whole thing was just to make you laugh? <laughs> Bye? <laughs> How convoluted. I, I'm so okay with it. What happened? <laughs> yeah, you you really goofy, eh? Seriously, bud. Seriously, bud. You really fucked up. <laughs> Laughter. That's quite fun. And co and coming from Kurama, the like least humorous character. I guess he is. Okay. Okay. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what about, uh, his name is, like, Yanasigawa? Yeah, what happened to him? Is he okay? Apparently, I mean, okay. Like, all we have to go off of was what Kaito said, which was that he got lifted up gently and then dropped gently, which... I don't know if I'm gonna let that slide. Like, uh, fine, sure. The word game. The word game. The word game is brilliant. It's really fun. I I like this word game a whole lot. A lot of our fights in Yu Yu Hakusho boil down to who hits the guy with the bigger spirit blast or fisty punch or swordy thing. This one was a mind game, and it was a well-done mind game. There are some obvious like difficulties in doing this via translation because you've got 
entirely dramatically different uh, uh, symbolic alphabets, which work functionally very differently. Like they're eliminating full rows of of like Sashi Suse, so as opposed to eliminating all, it's really really whack. But but it's fine. It works well enough that we get what's going on and. In fact, I would say credit where credit is due to the English transliteration staff because at no point during any of their, their actual speech do they mess up with the rules in English when transliterated from the Jap. It's weird but difficult, but they did it, and that's kind of impressive in its own way. The other things that are really stand out about this episode are framing and shots like this, uh, which give us that mind gamey feel, right? Like we've got a, a full battle of two characters sitting across from each other until until Kaido goes and uses the bathroom, and then everything gets all wonky. But we've got a full battle of this, and we've got to make it dramatic. How do we do that with crazy dope lines and amazing angles and fantastic set design? Like this location is my favorite location. In the thing so far, in Yu Yu show so far, it is colorful, unique, interesting, and weird. And the geometry of it allows the, the, the like, whoever's choosing the camera angle during storyboard phase, or I guess it would have been during, like, drawing the actual manga panels phase by, anyway, uh, uh, to come up with really interesting places and ways to frame these characters that make this really cool. And it just nails it all the way through, I think. Um... I have to again give another shout out, credit where credit is due, to the voice actors. Uh, Kaito's voice actor nails his demeanor super well all the way through this thing. His cocky confidence, but is also like knowing that he's up against a legitimate threat and taking Suichi seriously as a threat. Like, there's nothing he can do. What will he do? I've put him in, in a position that limits him as much as I possibly can. He's going to figure out a way out of it. I'm going to try and mind game him, right? And the way that the mind game plays out is, Kaido's right. Suichi is going to hide somewhere in a room full of vegetation and then jump out at the last minute and he just gets the wrong intent, right? He's, he's prepping himself, I won't be scared. I won't be scared no matter what. I won't be scared no matter what. He just mistook what Suichi was going to do. Why? Well, because it's completely out of character for him. Kurama doesn't make jokes. I mean, occasionally he'll say something that's funny, but he doesn't really joke with the other characters. He doesn't he doesn't joke the way that like Hiei and Kuwabara go at each other in a kind of a joking way. Kurama doesn't really take part in that. He's not a funny character. He's a very serious guy. So it's completely out of character, and it makes perfect sense why Kaido, obsessed with Kurama as he is, would be like, this guy's going to try and scare me because that's an involuntary reaction and it makes sense for who he is and it makes sense for this creepy thing that he's done with all these plants. But no, he drops down and does something weird with his hands and his eyes and makes himself look goofy and it completely, completely breaks Kaido. All on a serious gamble. I think that's really cool. Really cool. Um, I also just want to mention up in these like first moments of the episode... There's just something really, really crispy about the way that these shots are framed. Like this shot with, uh, 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 from, from, I forget his name, is it Kido? Kido's perspective with Yusuke dropping his shadow toward us, uh, and the lights behind him is really nice. This slow pan up Kido is super cool. And I like Kido's design as well. There's something that I, I notice a little bit later, yeah, which is here. He's like always got this, it's not even a smirk, it's it's like he's he's got, a, his lip doesn't completely close, right? He, he's always showing a little bit of teeth underneath that. And that just gives him this like cocky, sort of slanted vibe. Uh, and literally cocked smile and a slanted smile are the literary terms that you would use to, to refer to that. And that's exactly what he looks like. It's like, oh, this guy's a little creepy. Um, that's just, just fantastic. Uh, okay, so the game is the game. The little trick with each other being hot is really cool. Uh, I would like to find what that is in the Nihongo and like how did how did Atsui get stuck in there? Um, just for fun. So give me give me a second to find out where that is. <laughs> Great. Audio track Nihongo. It's literally the first word that he says. 
Ah. Ah, you, you dingus. Cool party, you, you big dummy. Okay, I'm I'm really impressed by like look at the framing on that. That's super cool. Look, look at it's so cool. It uh so much of this reminds me of some like part four JoJo's y stuff. Uh and and the way that uh uh that Araki does some of his layouts is super reminiscent of, of some of the stuff in this episode. I really like this episode. I like the idea of it. I like the execution of it. I like the acting of it. Both the, the visual acting of the characters and the voice acting of the characters is both really well done. Moments like this where Kaido goes and fakes flushing the toilet so that he's got a moment to think. Really cool. Really getting us in the, in the spirit of the mind game here. It's awesome. And we follow our antagonist through the last segment of it, right? Like, Kurama just doesn't appear until he appears and, and makes, him, makes him laugh. We follow, we follow Kaido, right? And we follow his mental game. And it almost makes him seem pretty close to unbeatable, which gives us that same feeling that he gets of pure shock at, at what Kurama decides to do. I think that's excellent. I want to know who was in charge of this episode. Um... Because I'm I'm really curious about some of the the framing decisions and like the the layout. So I'm I'm really intrigued by storyboard and episode direction uh, for this episode. Let me look those up. Uh, okay, episode direction by Kazunori Mizuno. Uh, storyboard by Motosuke Takahashi, who has storyboarded previous episodes, um, but has not been this standout. At least I don't recall. Uh, their work being this standout and I'm looking through the other projects that they've been on and a lot of like director credits a lot of storyboard credits a lot of episode direction credits not a lot of things that I particularly recognize and can draw like a parallel uh, to so that's unfortunately not the most useful thing that I've looked up but it's good to know that this uh, that this storyboarder is capable of this kind of thing and it's something we can keep an eye out for in the future for now uh, for for all the things that I love about this episode, it ends up being pretty simple and straightforward. We move on past one of our villainous children, the villainous teenagers who also have powers who are being really mean to us for no particular reason that we can determine at this point. Uh, I, I guess we move on and it said at the end that we have two more to deal with. So I assume that Kido will be last and Yanagisawa, Yanagi Yanagi that sounds more right, uh, will be next. But I thought he got knocked out by some shenanigans. Uh, cool. What's the next game? Are we still in his territory? Do those rules still apply or do they disappear when he does? I don't know. How does any of this work? Who cares? It's really cool. Let's watch more. Uh, I'm going to take a quick breaky thingy, do a quick sinky thingy, and be back in just a second to watch episode 70 of Yu Yu Hakusho. See you in a moment. Peace. All right, welcome back. We're good to go for episode 70. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Bada boom. Again with the, 
the music just hitting right out the gate. I don't I don't dislike it. Okay. Oh yeah, they'll talk, so that was yeah. Gifted by whom? I don't know what that says. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> we did it. You're you're fucked. <laughs> oh, we have to get him to approve. Okay, threats are not going to work here, EA. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, what? <laughs> really chaps my hide. I'm I'm just a cure for Travis. That's all I care about now. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But I wonder. Wozers. Almost. Probably shouldn't have let him get closer. <laughs> Welcome to the next chapter. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. Chill out, dude. Gotta follow the rules of the game. All right, Travis, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the thingamajiggies. The who's a what? <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. How will that help us in this situation? Oh, we've got more than one. I see. Got it. There's no rule against them. <sighs> you fucking idiot. You can't? Yeah, you fucking idiot. So there. Exactly. Get mad, buddy. Get mad. That's fine. This is dope. This is dope. <laughs> That's the opposite of okay. 
There's one staircase. Shit. What? <laughs> Good news. This is his domain. You think? Well... Yeah, you're you're fucked. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to color space. Why are you going down now? You're losing it. Oh, fuck. We are fully, fully nonsensical. That is not helpful. Who designed this place? Oh, you've got all the possibilities. Yeah, what about he? A? Oh, shit. Lord God. That is... I was going to say that is not going to help you, and I was wrong. What? 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 Other plans? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm waiting for lights. Shadows. I'm waiting for intersecting shadows. Whoa. Kido's a shape changer? Not Kido. Yanagisawa. Yana Can't be Botan. She's still got the thing. How would he have swapped the things? How would he have swapped the thingamajiggies? He would have had to steal them or he's faked them. Come on. Magic powers, fam. Got an additional hostage. Tick tock. Tick tock. All right, get everybody talking. Let's do some some never have I ever. Let's play some truth or dare. Let's get this going. Get some get some explanations from some people. See if anybody slips up. Let's go. Let's go.
That's an interesting deflection. Fucking idiot. All right. <laughs> ah, fuck. Fuck off. Have her take out a flying broom. Wait, what? I don't remember that. I probably have blocked it from my brain. That's Bo Dodd. Uh, <laughs> that's yay. Yeah. In front of Kuwabara? That's EA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we talk to Kuwabara again? That is the kind of thing that Kuwabara would say. <laughs> All right, let, can we? Yeah, can we talk to our Kurama again? Yeah, what about that? Sh sure, 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 sure. Those, yeah. Everybody remove each other's seals. Keto was there. Fuck, it's... That's... Okay, names. Mixing them up. I'm an idiot. They're very soul. Shit. That's real creepy, dude. It's real creepy. Fuck. That's great. Sorry, champ. Shitty power. Kind of OP, but also real shitty. That's a great question. Yeah. A friend or an enemy? Fuck off. Are you just gonna punch Kuwabara because he can take it? You're just gonna punch Kuwabara because he can take it? Tell me that that's the logic here. Oh, we did it! But what was the logic? What was the logic, Yusuke? Tell me what the logic was. 
Why? Why him? Did he? Did he? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we'll take it. No. You're about to get your shit kicked in, friendo. <laughs> Who's put the... Tell me it's fucking, it's our friend. Tell me it's... God! Fucking... Why? But why? But why, Genkai? Because all our enemies are fucking dead. He says it was an ally or an enemy. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. Huh? Oh, counting on keto screwing it up. I did not until the moment of reveal. Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, you got trapped in uh, immediately. Yeah, but you're not going to know about your power, your enemy's power. It's like, come on. Yeah, might happen in a tournament. Shit. This is an interesting stakes raising. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. All the other new psychics? It's a portal! Tell me it's a portal. Yes. What? The only Sakyo plan. Oh, hi. That's a badass Kuwabari incoming. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. War. War never changes. Cool. 
Ah, that guy. I wants to deal with his shadows. Ooh. I, I, I see you, show. I see you. I see what you're doing. I'm not against it. I, I'm pretty into it, actually. This is an interesting form of stakes raising. Like, hey, we just got out of a very straightforward tournament. Yes, there was some underground bullshit going on. Yes, there was some trickery. But basically, when somebody got in the ring and showed off their powers, you'd be like, those are their powers, and now I'm going to fight them. Easy peasy. Now we're in fucking dealing with another organization of other people with other powers that we don't know situation. You're up against anything, and it could be anything, and you've got to be fucking careful. This kind of bullshit where Hie rushes in and, and goes like, ah, I'll say the thing just to find out. Well, now he is gone. He's dead forever, and he's not going to help, help you fight on your team. And your heaviest hitter, fully your heaviest hitter, hitter with Dragon of the Darkest Flame is just bye-bye. Well, shit, now you fucked up. Ooh, that's smart. Ooh, that's fun. Ooh, I like that a lot. I did not see the Genkai reveal coming until, like, moments before the Genkai reveal. When when Kido says he's got, like, the phone and he's like, one of your allies, like, you've made a lot of allies and enemies, and one of them is the person who's put us up to this. It's like, what enemies do we actually have at the moment that are not dead or in hell or, like, gone or whatever? Because we basically befriended everybody who survived the tournament. Like, if, if they survived, they're, they were cheering for us at that point. So it was like, uh, okay, who else is alive and a friend or an em a Genkai? And basically only Genkai. So who's it going to be? It's motherfucking Genkai! That's a great twist. I would not have seen that coming unless that line was said. That one line was like, wait a second, what enemies? We don't, we were waiting for the reveal of enemies, you know? That's what we're going for. Um, golly. Golly goodness gracious. What an interesting episode. Uh, okay. To go, to go straight through it, we got our recap. Good recap. Love this this walking scene, this sort of Avengers scene. Uh, super, super cool. Okay. We got more things. You have to let us in yourself. Otherwise, we won't go. Uh, great stuff with Shadow. Again, all the framing in this room is super dope. Um, I don't find it as crazy impressive as I did in the previous episode. And then we get our staircase machinations and evil. And we do this whole sequence. I I love that they are taking the piss out of this whole sequence where she's explaining the things and we've got like our somewhat demure like male who's dealing with the Genki girl who's trying to sell the thing in cuz this is all it's all like thematically a play on certain types of 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 advertisements that they're not advertisements, they're like inside of a news show, they'll do an ad for a thing and be like this. Oh, it rings bells, and it it really works. Um, actually, it reminds me it reminds me quite a bit of some of the skits in Lucky Star uh, during the end segments. If that vibes, uh, if that helps you uh, grab the vibe that I'm looking for, the little visuals and all that, and they do all of this right in front of Yana Yanagi Yanasi, whatever. Uh, uh, cool, cool, cool. Yusuke being real angry is always dope. Always fun. This whole sequence is just wonderfully trippy. Uh, I love the the monochromatic color scheme. I love the, like, wait a second, I'm going downstairs. Everything's twisty. Everything's weird. And then, I guess, I still don't understand the mechanics of this, but apparently he's just surrounded by mirrors that are illusions? I don't know. Illusions, Michael. Illusions. Uh, uh, yeah. Cool. And we get our actual, like, hardcore mind game of the thing. And Yusuke's answer to this is a very Yusuke answer to this. It's also a very, like, Gon-style answer to this. This is a very Togashi answer to this very Togashi question. It's like, one of your friends is an imposter. You have to punch them as hard as you can. Okay, well, it's gonna be Kuwabara, because I'm gonna punch Kuwabara, because cause he'll forgive me, probably, if I'm wrong. And we'll see how it goes. That's a very Yusuke answer. Of course, it works out great, good, but what if it wasn't Kuwabara, right? Then, I don't know. It's it's an unfuckable ability, really. 
if it goes as deep as the spirit level and he gains all the memories of the individual, then my initial thought, which was let's play, let's play Never Have I Ever and just like go down the list and like, all right, Kuwabara, uh, Never Have I Ever Gotten a Fight with a Gang About a Cat, like, okay, you're Kuwabara. That wouldn't have worked because, because what's his face would have all his memories. Uh, that's terrifying and deeply useful. And I hope we're going to have these people as semi allies that we can like outsource some of our work to, um, they do show up in the OP. So I feel like that might be totally possible. And I'm kind of looking forward to having them on the other team. Um, the way that Keto fully 180 flips to, uh, down on his knees, like, Master, we have failed you, and she's like, no, 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 this was the point, you were destined to fail against my A-team, is fun, uh, boob jokes, also fun in this circumstance, because Yusuke is boldface lying in order to try and perv on Botan, and that, that actually works, that's exactly what Yusuke would do, this whole situation, with Yukina being brought up, really terrified me. Like, what? How is this? What? How is? What is gonna? Because if Kuwabara is in fact the imposter, then he wouldn't know, and that's interesting. Oh, 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 oh. But we've kept the secret for now. Although I guess real Kuwabara is not aware that fake Kuwabara just almost learned a secret, is he? Real Kuwabara is not aware of that. So we've, we've actually changed nothing. Beautiful. We just made it seem like we had changed something. Very beautiful. That's, I like that quite a bit. Um, and the build-up to this scene is so, I, I think, is excellently done. We set this thing up as like, this is the way that we're going to tell. We're going to pull the stickers off each other, and whoever can't pull the sticker off is the imposter. Rip. Shit. All bets are off. No idea how to find out the problem here. What do we do? That's neat. That's just neat. Okay. Gloating, 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 lines about allies and friends, gloating, gloating, punch, punch. Oh. I want to see the scene where Kuobara's face explodes into another face because that seemed... Oh, excuse me. That seemed really interesting to me. Pop. Oh, God. Beep. Wow, that full morph. That's... I think that's really cool. I, I don't know about you, but I think that's really cool. Alright. So, setup complete. Someone has taken over Sakio's dream. Probably unrelated to Sakio. Just, like, working on the same thing. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And who, who, who is that guy with the thing and the shadow things and all that stuff? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's an, another pair of episodes where we build up the mystery around this mysterious bad guy character and tell us nothing about him. Which makes me very curious, as it is intended to do. Great. Do we get to find out more about that next time? I hope so. I really do hope so. But we will have to wait till next time to find out if we'll find out about that next time. So... For the moment, I've been Tiabu. This has been Yu Yu Hakusho episodes 69 and 70. Again, nice on the 69. And nice. It was a nice episode. It was really cool. And uh, I guess this concludes this little portion of a mini arc. I very much hope that these characters stick around. And I kind of hope that any element of the aesthetic of this uh, plays into later stuff. The way that framing has been done over the course of these four episodes in this place have been so cool. Can this be our hideout now? I'm yawning a lot. I need to stop yawning and also to stop talking and also to stop recording. So, I've been Tiaboo. This has been Yu Yu Hakusho, episode 69 and 70. I hope you've enjoyed them as much as I have. If you've got comments, crit criticisms, questions, or concerns, throw them in the comments. I will read them. Uh, and uh, if you want next week's episodes a little bit early, you can get those on Patreon, which is linked down in the thing. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Peace!